Music from an open window down the street. She emerges from the dark house with disheveled hair, her cherry kiss, lip gloss smeared onto her cheek, avoiding her mouth as if in the midst of an elaborate escape plan, never completed, refuses to be lapped up by the soft pink monster resting at the bottom of the dark cave behind the teeth. The monster who lies bleeding from tiny puncture wounds on its slippery venous underbelly Rivulets of black liquid drip down her face and stain her barely Their virgin white baby tea She doesn't realize it, but the tears are running from her Their escape plan, considerably less complicated than that of the lip lacquer Succeeds her underwear, still clutched tightly in her shaking hand As she walks disjointedly down the dimly lit sidewalk She cannot grasp what has happened So the blame is taken out on her soiled undergarments crumbling within her bald fist. She always preferred the tangible over its opposite anyway. Why did he do this to her? Did he not love her? All these questions spill from her. Abused mind in unison with the tears from her eyes. Liquid black confusion. Her yellow white thong sandals slap softly on the cracks of it as she pats slowly along. Why? 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 And sighs to clear her mind, both operations fail. Her only accomplishment is the involuntary blunting of her knuckles as her panties are squeezed tighter and tighter, pressed into the palm of her hand until they disappear. Suddenly, she stops the wind, washes over her small body, and ruffles her sheer pink skirt. A newborn flower swaying in the spring breeze. She lifts her aching head as if catching the scent of her impending doom. No, not her doom, her salvation, my cologne. She turns her baby doll face in my direction and fixes her eyes on my silhouetted figure beneath the street lamp. I smile.